So here's a really quick tip on how to add windshields to your vehicles, like this Rubicon Katusha, which did not include a windshield. I need to add one. All you need is some empty blister pack material. So go buy a miniature, throw away the mini, and keep the pack. And just proceed to use a sharp knife and cut out the size that you need. A little larger than you need, we could trim it down a little bit afterwards. Uh, I'm doing this very simply. I'm putting the windshield behind the windows. Uh, if you want to take more time, you can cut them a bit more exact uh, to fit in the window frame. Up to you. Step two, and this is completely optional, uh, use some tape and section off an area on the windshields where the windshield wipers would go. So that gives you a nice clean area and then we can dirty up the uh, areas around it. Uh, I started doing this for this project and I decided that the windshield was just too small. Uh, it looked a little strange uh, having that clear area it wasn't uh, ironically clear about what they actually were. So again, optional here. After painting and sealing your model, we can go ahead and add the windshield in place. Uh, I am fixing it in place using some Loctite transparent glue. It's almost like a silicon sealant. Uh, it's gonna adhere very well, and it's also gonna dry transparent in case we make any little boo-boos. It's also easy to clean up. You can use standard white or PVA glue, but this has a lot more strength to it. Next, we need to weather our glass to match our weathered vehicle. For that, I'm using AK Interactive's Enamel African Dust Effects and just kind of blotching it on. Several different ways you can weather. You can just use uh, ordinary thinned paint if you wish, uh, but uh, make it as dirty or as clean as you like. And then the last thing to do is to wipe off some of that enamel wash. That's the benefit of using it. We can just use an ordinary Q-tip and clean off the center of the windows like they've been cleaned off with the ordinary rag. It gives a nice realistic effect. And there you go. Our windshields are done. Easy peasy to make and paint. As a little bonus for the three people out there who have this kit and happen to be watching, uh, if you do have this kit, uh, you can actually make it into a two-in-one kit just by adding some magnets to the frame of the truck and then putting some sheet metal on the base of the rocket system and the bed of the truck. So you can actually transform them and get a little bit more money out of your kit because they cost roughly about the same price. So. Uh, if you're looking to get just the truck, get the Katushka instead. And with that, we are done. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.